Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and this is just a quick video update. I want to talk to you about the Helen Caldicott uh, Symposium, the Consciousness Walk, and the nuclear panel that wasn't over at the University of Oregon. First, let me chat with you about the Helen Caldicott Symposium coming up on uh, February 28th through March 1st. Kevin Blanche will be there representing the Post Ignorance Project. Um, I hope that as many people in this, within the sound of, that watch this video that are in New York, that can actually go, will go. Uh, if money's an issue, please email me at nutsforart at gmail. I don't have truckloads of money, but I can spend some money to send a few people there because, especially young people, we need people to become informed and to hear it from the scientific experts. And then at this symposium, if you hear something that you think is not right, Write down your questions. I'm sure they're going to be a question and answer session. And if not, you maybe you can ask these scientists afterwards and talk to them. Because we have got to stop this. The scientific community has been complicit or coerced into uh, agreeing to just kind of misrepresent things. I don't think many of the, you know, a lot of people don't understand that the science was skewed since the 40s. This is not a new issue. So we need to go to the symposium. We need to uh, support Helen Caldicott's efforts to bring in the professional uh, medical community into this and to get the good work of scientists out there. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm going to be live streaming it that day. Uh, but it's a real. This is a real thing for me. If I want to have people go, uh, and I really, we need to have an educated populace. So I'm going to leave it off there. I guess that's enough begging. The second thing I'm going to talk to you about is in chronological order, which is the uh, U University of Oregon um, uh, Environmental Law Conference. It happens on March 5th through the 8th at the university. They've been doing it every year since I've been here, and they've never once put on a panel about nuclear or anything. That just goes to show you the power of the nuclear industry. The uh, so-called panel that was I was asked to put together uh, it really was just an embarrassment. I'm sorry I got involved in it. Uh, they were uh, the you, Rick Gold from the Eugene Peace Works was not asked to put together a panel. He asked them and they summarily ignored it. He got back to me this last week and said he was surprised that they ignored him. But would I still mind being on his tabling and helping him for the week? And I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Actually, I have to have a talk with him. Um, I do think I am going to arrange to do a protest out there, though, because of this. Uh, these are actually the University of Oregon's colors, and this is the Oregon State University colors, brown and orange. Uh, U of O is green and yellow. And both of those Oregon universities are not thinking critically about nuclear science, and they are acquiescing. Uh, the Pacific Ocean is dying. In Oregon, we got a uh, hearing two days ago, three days ago, asking uh, the government to consider the coastline of, I think it was Northern California and Oregon and Washington, uh, a, what do you call the endangered species zone. I, I don't really know the area, but I know it affected Oregon coasts. Not once did they mention Fukushima radiation. They did mention over-acidification as the cause of why these animals are dying. And it is really disgusting because they're not even testing for radiation or they're not telling us. And um, just like the University of Oregon refused to even consider, I, I asked them two, three years ago when I found out that it wasn't taken care of to start a class action lawsuit. And they said, it's really none of our business. Really? It's none of your business? You guys are environmental lawyers and it's none of your business? Fucking five nuclear meltdowns going on in Japan. Okay, so I'm going to leave that alone, and then uh, then the last thing I want to talk to you about is Kevin Kevin uh, Blanche's consciousness walk that is going to be happening. I think he'll start on March 12th. He's going to be out at Pismo Beach. I don't know the exact details. You guys are going to have to go to Kevin Blanche's YouTube channel uh, or his Facebook page or even the Post Ignorance Project page uh, to get updated on that and all, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be, and you know, I help him coordinate everything. He's going to, he makes his own decisions though about where he's going to go. And he hasn't quite decided on all that. We do know that he's going to be in California on March 11th. Uh, 
in Berkeley, or I guess it's, I guess that's where it's at, Berkeley, the Livermore Lawrence Lab, the Diablo Canyon. Um, so he will be going out there, but not out to the canyon in that desolate, horrible place. It was just like death warmed over, or not even warmed over. It's just death. So he's, I think he's going to be out at Pismo Beach. And I want to thank all of everybody who has helped contribute to the GoFundMe page. We are now $1,870. Woohoo! Almost at the $2,000 mark. Um, Kevin's going to be walking for about a month and a half. We definitely need some help still. And um, I guess that's everything. And I just want to encourage everybody to... Um, we're just trying to get to the truth of the nuclear thing, so don't get discouraged because they've been after this lying and sabotaging people for, you know, look at the Japanese people after World War II. Look what they did to them, the Marshallese. I mean, they just become invisible. And that's, they did that. I mean, Helen Caldecott is kind of invisible to the uh, mainstream media, right? Her efforts are invisible. But. That doesn't mean she's not correct. doesn't mean we're not correct. We're on the right path. I mean, and so we just need to persevere and um, speak to the facts, which is why we really need to go to this symposium in New York and understand it, because we have to speak to the facts. I don't think many of us know a lot about what's really happened. It's like unpeeling an onion, and it is stunning to think that our government has done that. With our tax dollars, we actually sponsored somebody to calculate how much it's, the risk is worth. Uh, this was in 1970, right? They, for the first time, they calculated it was worth $250,000, every additional cancer from a nuclear, a safe nuclear bomb explosion for experimentation. We would get, what, 32 or 33 extra cancers a year, or did they say? So $250,000. It's one thing for the corporations to calculate how much it would cost to poison the people in terms of them being sued, but for our government to calculate the cost of it and then just say, of course, nuclear is good because we'll have to figure out why it's good, but we know it's really amazingly good because look at this shit. It blows up so great. Like, it is really sociopathic. So... The only way we're going to stop these Caligulas, and that's what I've called them for a long time as Caligulas, um, is get educated and be determined to survive and thrive beyond survival. So, ciao, you guys. <laughs> Bye. Life according to Lonnie.